flashlight and you get a pistol. Don't know, I think you get four rounds in it. And you get a gas mask as well. You need a gas mask. Yep. So I got four rounds. As you can see, I got quite a bit. Big clip because I've upgraded the gun. That's a good thing, like all these things that you can climb up like this. They've marked like they put a like, yellow penny over that kind of thing, so it's quite good. So you know you could what to look for if you want to go up. Let's go. So even though this is uneasy, I still die quite a bit. Like, it won't it'll be a bit later in the game, I'll start dying. Because I just suck at doing certain points. So here we go, we got our fist. Not mandatory. You can choose whether to do those, but there's an achievement, well, a trophy achievement, whatever you call it, for doing all of those in one playthrough. Or doing all those in the game, which I haven't got yet, so I don't know which ones I'm missing. I'll have to watch a guy, have a look at a guy to do that. The There's always random ones I'll miss, so I'm, you know what I mean? But they're good because you get a little bit, bit more story to them, so Great, when using them. Great, bring it over. This is a good concept kind of thing, and it is using ladders and all that to climb. You know, you go find the ladders, you can climb this stuff and all this, you get to different places then. It's nice. So if we go in here, on the table you'll find a pendant. Firefly pendant. They are collectibles. Which, I haven't got all of them either. Can't bother to look for all of them. It tells me which ones I'm missing. Just point you see spores, you gotta put the mask for mask on. Just crouch under here. It's another one of those things. See this is the infected now, but he's like dead, so <coughs> it doesn't really make them not too much of a difference in being there. But they're kinda like really creepy looking things when you see them. Not the infected as much because they're just like the people, but it's like more the clickers, which are like people, but they've like been infected for so long. He asked you to kill him, so I did. This is where we first see the infected properly. So here we go, we get one in here. Which I will kill now. You can strangle him or you can shiv him if you have a the shivs made, but I don't have any yet. You got two here, so I'm gonna strangle this one. Okay, no I'm not. Okay, didn't expect him to hit me. <laughs> Fuck! Beat you like a motherfucker. And now she's dead. She's going the door down here. And there's some stuff. You get some ammo? It's only. Thing. Yeah, you just get some ammo this. It's nice to like look around when you're playing just to get some ammo for some stuff. You just go upstairs. Because like, at the beginning of the game I used to find there's a lot more ammo around. When I first played, when I played for a second time there's a lot more ammo around than other places. So you go up here, you get some food, and you also get a note to the brother, which... To a brother, so you like, you know... When I first played through that I liked to like, read of all of those things. Because it gives you some insight of what's happened to some people. It's quite nice. It's a nice little touch into it. Instead of just having collectibles like the pendants, you actually have notes you can read. 
these maps, these stuff, just different stuff really. It's just nice. And the detail, you can just see the detail that's gone into all this, just looks amazing. So, yeah. I think Naughty Dog did a fantastic job with this game, to be honest. Because I've never, it apparently, it plays like Uncharted. I've never played the Uncharted games at all. Um, never really decided to play any of them either, so. But it seems like it plays like it. So, yeah. So, this is the first point you'll see wooden planks you can get across. So if you see these planks you can use them to get across certain things. You have to just figure out ways of getting across. So. Cause I hear I was like oh, um, I put that up, I was like, how the hell do I get up? And I realise you can get up here. There's one layer in the game with a ladder which I couldn't remember how to do it and it took me like five minutes just standing there looking around figuring out how to do it and I was like, wait I can just do this. And I was like, you know, that would have saved me so much more time if I actually looked properly. Ooh, I see something over there glimmering. I think it's food. It is. Not that I massively need it, but I've never seen that before. So, this, this bit of the game hasn't really got that much action in it as much as the others. Oh, generally, because it's the beginning of the game, isn't it, really, so... But it, like, introduced the game quite nicely, so it's good, in my opinion. Shut it, nut. There was some wire ammo there. Pick up an ammo. I can see it. Kid. She's handing him a ration card. I should really go get some food, I'm hungry as shit. It's fucking two o'clock already. Holy fucking shit. We got up two hours ago. face, I don't want to buy that though. Just backs off like that, nice. Fuck's sake. Fuck off! My controller is so bullshit. Ever since the PlayStation 4 was announced, fucking thing keeps discounting. <laughs> Saying it, I had a f I got a friend whose Xbox One does it. Shake it just a tiny little bit, a little disconnect, just like, ah, fuck you. Alright, so here we go, there's some action now. Let's see some shots. 3v2. Okay. 
Fuck off. That's really annoying, they don't give you any ammo. But we'll get a bit later, so it's only man massively. See, so I got stuck here, I was like, why can't I get over the wall? How do I get over the wall? Oh, wait. So when I first played through it, I didn't realise, like, little circles are, like, different things you can do. They show, like, where you can go kind of thing. See, I didn't realise that at first. But now I do. This is the bit where we're going to use a bit of stealth. Like I did to the first effect, that's what we're gonna do to these guys. We're gonna start to take them out. If I use my thing, there's one, two, three, three of them at this point, so I'm gonna go kill them all now. Wait for that guy on the left to move so that he doesn't see me coming through the door and I can kill him. Both out. Easy. I'm gonna go take that guy out of there now. More bullets. And some more. Come in the face. I got a key now. So let's go. See, that's like, you want to use stuff like that during the game just so you don't waste your ammo. Because I come at points in the game where, like, I have no ammo in, like, any of my guns, and it's just like, you know, the point where you actually need some and you don't, it just really pisses me off. One of them should be coming in here in a minute. This one. We can work something out and fuck off. See, I should have done stealth, but the fact is, I failed. Fuck off. See, I should have gone stealth there, but I didn't be bother. This part I will. Well, normally I don't, but then I did. I didn't the first two times, because even though I've played this game 
twice through. I've done this part, this will be my fifth time now because there was a problem with the saving. Like, when I first got the game, I played it and it would, you pause the thing and there was a save game, load game, restart and count and quit thing. It would say auto save and please wait. And it would never go off. And so I'd have to, it would never be able to save my game at that point. Which would piss me off, but what can you do? So, just the fact that I'd have to restart it. So I've done that twice now. See, I need a hundred. I need only seventy more of those, and I can get my fully upgraded with supplement set. Just two over here. It's this one I want to get, but the other one behind him will walk there. We got a bit of a shipping manifest there, so have a read of that. One of them's gonna see me now. You know what? Fuck them. So now I can have a melee weapon if I need it. So yeah, you don't have to do it that way, but I just always do it that way. It takes, doesn't take as long then. I've never, I don't know if anyone's done a speedrun in this game yet. I'd love to see what time they get doing it. I could probably do it quite, I'd probably do it, I think my last one was about 8 hours. If I did it without a collect and a load of shit, then I'd probably do it in about 7 maybe. I spend a lot of time going through different rooms trying to get everything. Because I'd like to have a nice supply of ammo half the time and all that. You killed Robert there because uh, Tess didn't like him. And then Marlene, who is this one in front of us is the leader of the Fireflies, she wanted to talk to him about something. But she's been here, so she's now taking you to get away from the military, because the military have now moved in on that place that you just were, so... That's basically that part of it. Mm -hmm. You get a nice array of weapons in this game, because you get the pistol, you get the magnum next, then the hunting rifle, then a shotgun. Then you get... A I believe it's the shorty which is a handheld shotgun. Like just a like a pistol shotgun. And then you get a I oh know you get the bow before the shotgun. You get a bow and then you get a shotgun. And then you get So you get the bow, then you get the shotgun, then you get the shorty. Then you get a magnum called the El Diablo, which has a scope on it. And then you get a assault rifle of flamethrower. Let's get this stuff. So some of that I got a shiv now, so some of it you can make you can use to make stuff. Other stuff's like used to upgrade your weapons, so the ones that look like they have a little symbol that look like a cog, that's for the upgrading weapon stuff, so that's quite fun. To do. To get. Normally they come in what they come in ones, 
fives, tens, twenty-five, and fifty. But the fifties are any big ones that you find like. I think there's only a couple in the game. You find them like right next to the um, tools because you can upgrade weapons, but you can only upgrade them so far. You need to get this five, five sets of tools in the game spread out. I can't remember where. First one's in Billstown. Second one's da da, you know, and. So you can upgrade them before, you need to then get the first set of tools to upgrade after that. Then you need to get the next ones. And the next one. So, you know, it's not just getting the up the actual parts to upgrade it, you actually need the tools to be able to do it as well, so it's quite enjoyable. You just get this and just Okay, I normally distract them, but I can not bother that one. Because she does that anyway. Any ammo? No. You're not dead, motherfucker. Get some ammo. See, I've never actually able to sneak by that part. I always get noticed, so you can do it. Don't know how, but it will be. It's possible sometime. Let's go. Ain't far now. So that's some pretty good detail put into it. Textures are nice. Is it? Oh no! If you who. Funny. She can't open the door on her own. It's like it's not difficult to open, is it? It's twenty past. It's ten past ten apparently. According to that, open so easily there. And now we've met Ellie, who is the girl in the main thing. So skip that. 